What's going on guys? I am Simple Simon and today I've got a package from The Grey Man. He's a good buddy of mine from the UK. So uh, his new job is selling comic books. Uh, so there was a couple of books I wanted from him. Uh, so I purchased them. I've also got uh, some books I bought off eBay. Uh, and since they were coming from the UK, I thought I'd get them sent to Grey Man and then he could put them in the package to send me with books that I bought off him. So I just arrived home before and the package is here. So I'm super excited to bust this open and show you guys what I got. So first we're gonna need a Stanley knife. Boom, Stanley knife. All right, boom. It was weird. When I actually click on Gray Man's um, eBay store on my eBay app, it actually shows that he's selling no books, which was weird. So I messaged him, so he'd actually send me a link to it, and then there was books. It was really bizarre. Anything that I wanted, I just told him, and what he would do is instead of me buying it off his eBay store, he just took it off and just sold it to me so you wouldn't have to pay fees or anything like that. I thought that was a better way to do it. There were some books that he had that were auctioning and I just said to him, if no one puts a bid on those auctions, I'll pay the price, just that regular price. And again, just take it off eBay so I don't have to, you know, you don't have to pay any eBay fees. Uh, so this is one of my eBay purchases. A lot of people talk about their birthday books. It's weird, some people have different, uh, I guess, opinions on what a birthday book is. I know some people think it's just the year that you're born in. But to me, I feel like it makes sense if it was the month and year that you were born in. So this first book is actually a birthday book. I believe this is some sort of UK pressing. Uh, it's actually a lot larger. It's like a magazine size almost. I didn't realize that when I bought it. Um, hmm, sniff worthy. Not only was the um, book from the month and year that I was born, it actually has the date my actual birthday. So this is Super Spider-Man TV comic. Um, I'm pretty sure I've actually got this book with this, the regular Marvel comic that has this cover on it. I, I had no idea what it was, but we actually have a look. I don't know if it's gonna come up properly or focus enough, but it actually has my birthday printed on the book, which is why I really wanted this. And also, I guess, cause it'd be quite a scarce thing. So it, it, it's some sort of English printing. Um, hmm. Um, I don't know, maybe Grey Man could fill me in on it in the comments. I mean, it's all black and white printed inside. It could even be like I've showed you guys the Planet Comics Australian reprints. I mean, look, it could very well be like maybe the UK's version of that where they reprinted DC. Oh, there's some color in it. That's interesting. It's like half of it is in black and white and then you got half in color. And then there's Fine Mary Jane Maze. Oh, that's really interesting though. So. Um, that little maze is like a pull-out poster, so that's why it's in color. But the thing is on the back, the actual is part of the story still. So you get literally two pages of color in a black and white book. That's very interesting. But anyway, yeah, the whole and the back page is also, that's interesting as well. The, the back, the last page is actually the back of the book. Um, but yeah, the whole reason I bought that was because of the, um, I actually had my date of birth written on the comic book, so yeah. I've been watching that for a long, long time. There was two of them going on eBay, and I thought, you know what, if I don't buy this, one day it's not gonna be there, and I really wanted that. It wasn't super expensive. I appreciate Gray Man for um, letting me send that to him. All right, so yeah, there's not many actual books in here. In fact, there's only... Oh, Gray Man, you did me dirty. Bang, he, he, he bought them back to back, okay. This first one is a book that I bought off eBay. Uh, this was like four pounds or three pounds. It was really cheap. Uh, this is an Art Germ New Mutants cover. Beautiful Art Germ uh, magic. Uh, when Gray Man received this, he said that cover is just like horrible. And I was like, what, what, what it is? Lick worthy is what that is called. But uh, Gray Man doesn't think so. He likes his old school covers. Okay, so yeah, he's, <laughs> he's bagged them back to back. Uh, I'll show you this one first. Uh, so a little while back, Grey Man did a whole bunch of mystery boxes called Grey Boxes. The Grey Box! He ended up sending one for free because he said no one bought them. I was actually planning to buy one and then I think he ended up just like sending one to me for free. Uh, and one of the boxes that I wanted had these two books in there. So he ended up hitting me up and I'm asking me if I just wanted to buy them off him. So I did because he, he can the Grey Boxes. Um, this is... Spider-Gwen number one, this is the ASM 300 homage. I know this cover's been homage to death, but 
um, I really, really wanted um, the Spider Gwen one because you know I'll never get the ASM 300, nor do I really care. But uh, I thought this Spider Gwen one was uh, very, very cool. Um, and on the back, it's actually a foreign key, I guess you would call it. Um, I don't know if anyone knows more about this. Uh, let me know in the comments. Um, this is like a German edition of the first Carnage. Uh, Die Spinny Spider-Man. That sound German? I don't know. But um, yeah, I remember seeing that and I knew straight away obviously it was the first Carnage and it was a foreign edition. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. I wouldn't mind getting that. So yeah, he actually ended up giving me a price on this, which was pretty good. But yeah, I, I mean, I don't know if this is a reprint or if it came out at the time when, you know, the first Carnage actually came out. I actually don't know much information about it. I just know that it is the first Carnage foreign version and I thought it was really cool. That's um, first German Carnage. Uh, you had this one. This is Dr. Afra issue one. This is from her first volume. And I believe this was like a, maybe a ratio, potentially. It's the black and white version of the A cover. Uh, so I think it might've been like a, maybe a ratio or something like that. So he had that on, that, that was the first book, I think, maybe that I saw he had on eBay. And I was like, hey man, um, if no one bids on this, I'll buy that off you. So pick that one up. And then the one on the back was a cheapie. Uh, he had this Kick-Ass 3 cover with Hit Girl on it uh, and it's done by Adam Hughes so I thought I'd pick that one up too very nice uh, and that's the books I got in the package thank you so much Grey Man uh, for doing that for me there is some other stuff he does have that I might want one day so but yeah thank you Grey Man for doing that for us uh, if you guys I'm sure you guys know Grey Man but if you don't his channel link will be in the description below um, I've done a lot of videos together we've hung out a lot so yeah I do appreciate your friendship mate and yeah Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys leave a thumbs up on the way out. Leave a comment. Let us know what you know about these books. And until next time, I am Simple Simon. Tell your friends. Have a great amazing day. Introducing the Grey Box. <laughs> hey, so, uh, it's finally going to happen. The Grey Box. The mystery box from the Grey Man.